Hello there, a very good morning. The Home Office says a group of detainees armed with various weaponry have caused a disturbance at an immigration removal centre near Heathrow Airport. No injuries have been reported during the unrest at Harmonsworth, which happened during a power cut. Well, in a statement, a Home Office spokesman said there has been a power outage at Harmonsworth Immigration Removal Centre and work is currently underway to resolve this issue. We are aware of a disturbance at the centre and the appropriate authorities have been notified and are on scene. The welfare and safety of staff and individuals detained at Harmonsworth is our key priority. Well, let's go straight to our correspondent, Matthew John Thompson, who uh, joins me now and is there. Uh, Matthew, what more are you hearing? Well, look, details still at this stage are rather limited, but we are hearing slightly more and starting perhaps to be able to piece together a little bit more about what is going on and what has gone on. As you rightly say, the Home Office now confirming that essentially this revolves around detainees who've left their rooms in the centre behind me, armed with what the Home Office has described as various weaponry, and entered a courtyard uh, inside the centre. I understand that the disturbance peaked at around 2 o'clock in the morning, but it is still ongoing. And obviously it's serious enough that uh, the police have been called, certainly, but also a group called the National Tactical Response Group, essentially the, the riot squads of the prison service who've been uh, brought in as well and are still, we understand, in the building. Now, the police say that they were first called at around quarter to eight in the evening last night. Uh, so that shows you that perhaps this has been ongoing for some time. It's not entirely clear what the relationship is between the power cut and the disturbance, whether one caused the other. But my information is that the power cut itself happened closer to midnight. So it's possible that that is something to do with the disturbance itself. We simply don't know enough of the detail at this stage. One of the major problems is that this is essentially as close to a, a prison complex as you could possibly imagine. It's a very secure area. We're stood on the outside of it, getting limited information. So it's very difficult to be sure exactly what the atmosphere is like on the inside. What I would say is just from watching, observing the various uh, emergency services who've arrived, be they fire brigade, police uh, or whatever, there is not quite a, a, an enormous sense of urgency in their movements, and that perhaps reflects what my information is, that this peaked in the early hours of the morning, but is still ongoing to some extent, quite what extent at this point, we're unable to be exactly sure. But as and when we get more information about what exactly is going on and whether it's still going on, we'll of course keep you updated.